Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Neo Scavenger. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you should swing out me today as we make our way down south by this region over here. We're gonna visit the Elegan, 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 I don't know, the Elegan Fairgrounds. We're gonna, we're gonna visit, let's check our status right now. Everything seems to be more or less fine. Ah. <sighs> And onwards we go. Last episode. Oh, actually, yeah. I might sleep over here. I might sleep just here. And hopefully I'll be alright. Mm. We still don't have a sleeping bag. Which is a problem. Because we are... Um, insomniac. Uh, uh, Philip Kindred is an insomniac. So he's now sleeping. Good, good, good. Keep... Keep at it, mate. Keep at it. So he's sweating. Okay, that's good enough for now. Um, yeah, that's gonna be fine. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm kind of excited about the illegal, f uh, the illegal fairground. Might be an illegal fairground, but it's not. That's not his its name. The illegal Elegan fairground. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm kind of excited because um, let's remove this shirt. Because this sweater because it's too hot it seems oh i know why we're sleeping we're sweating it was that uh nuke uh, not not nuke cola carna cola that we consumed last episode maybe not mm, doesn't seem like uh hmm, i don't know let's not sweat our clothes because that's a okay there's hmm Hmm, let's, let's try and spend the morning scavenging, but unfortunately, not a whole lot of loot. Okay, we're now comfortable, let's equip our hoodie, because after all, even though the temperature is rising, dog is roaming around, feral dog, okay. I don't really know, I need to be, okay, so probably, uh... So it's more or less around these parts. I'll try to, I'll try to, um, okay, there you go. There we go. The, the dog has probably seen me. The dog has probably seen me and an arrow right there. Great. That is great. Um, so this spoils my plans a bit because the dog is going to be after me. Okay, so there's, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of, of the whereabouts of this fairground. Hmm, okay, binoculars are in pretty good shape. I'm gonna bring them with me. And those pens are in pretty good shape as well. And a red Elegant Fairgrounds t-shirt. So, maybe it's somewhere around these parts? I don't know. I don't know, I'll have to risk it. No! Okay, not here. Maybe. Maybe it could be over there. But the dog is right on top of... Oh, there it is. There it is! The Elegan Fairgrounds. And I'm sorry if I'm driving you crazy by pronouncing it wrong, but oh well, I don't know better. I don't know better. The area around the Elegan County Fair is pretty unassuming when sleepy neighborhoods with attached homes make up the bulk of the area, with, street, with streets lined by aging trees, not much different than any other place you've walked lately. So yeah, we've been here before, and uh, we have explored this fairground, or these fairgrounds, and we have been scared of the roaster, of the rooster, but we have not explored much farther, let's scan the area. You hold still for a few minutes, surveying the area. There's a lot of debris here, and many good places to hide, but there are no signs of movement, movement no silhouettes, and no eyes glinting from the shadows. It looks clear. Yeah, but it didn't feel clear. So let's check out the tents. Uh, they are pretty run down. Weather and time have done their work over the years. Most everything looks faded, soiled, and waterlogged. Yes, we've... Okay, so we've... Mm, I'm gonna take that clown head, and I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, my idea 
is to equip it in my head yes that's right and uh, and we can see very well but hopefully I don't know I don't know I don't know what's inside the elegant the illegal the elegant fairgrounds that uh, entity that made let's salvage some tarp okay okay so that's at least something to bring home with us besides the hideous clone head clown head not clone head maybe it's a clone clown I don't know okay um, and let's check out the hole my idea is basically I don't know what's uh, what's inside and maybe the clown head is gonna so right here passing through the doorway your nose is assailed by the scent of stale perspiration urine and rotting teeth and this description right here scared me last time out I really I'm, I'm, I'm I've never done this this location before in my previous playthrough so I'm not sure what's in here um, and that clown head might have something to do with it I don't know I don't know let's try and no, I'm not gonna shine a light I'm gonna examine a booth labeled genuine genuine Indian artifacts genuine or genuine I don't know I've heard it both ways Genuine is neither the word you choose to describe most of the wares in this booth, but um, but the person who wrote the sign, not nor the person who wrote the sign. Most are obvious fakes designed to liberate tourists of their burdensome wallets. Things like lucky rabbit's feet, miniature re resin totem poles, and dream catchers lovingly made by a machine in East Asia. <laughs> However, as with many sidewalk vendors. The view beneath the table is a bit more interesting. Swaddled in some grimy blue plastic bags, you find evidence that there was something else for sale here. Several loose cords suggest there may be there may have been jewelry, and there are bits of, there are bits of worn tanned hides. There's also a heavy, tightly folded square of paper, taped shut. As you pry open the folds, a string of copper beds pours into your hands. Though different in shape and obviously more weathered, it's reminiscent of the talisman in with which you awake, awoke. And copper beds on a string, hmm. We've seen this before. This is the um, the talisman that's carried by the uh, Atian warrior. They carry this, so yeah, it makes sense that it's reminiscent of our own. Where is it? Okay, we can't look at it. I'm not taking it off. I might take it off later on, just to see what happens, but not right now. Uh, the wrapping paper appears to be a photocopy of a museum brochure depicting the same or a very similar string of beds. beads. The brochure has the following text on it. Zibuing Center, Anishinaabe Tribal Nation, Michigan. Looks like someone was doing a little bit of black marketing in history artifacts, historic artifacts. Conveniently, the photocopied brochure is driving directions to the Anishinaabe Tribal Nation and Zibuing Center near Old Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Oh, that's interesting. So we need to check our map as soon as we get out of here. Let's examine a pile of blankets and rags. Hopefully this won't go badly for us. As a scavenger, you quickly learn that there are two types of bl blanket types. Those that are created to hide something, and those that are created when something hidden is uncovered. Is yeah, is uncovered. This pile fits into the former category. Squatting next to the to the pile, you start peeling back layers of cloth and blanket. Whatever is under here must be pretty large to warrant this many blankets. You do your best to stem your excitement as you pull back a soiled sheet to find a bulbous, misshapen head. Oh no, a waft of pungent body odor and halitosis nearly knocks you over and you immediately recoil from the shock of sight and smell. The head is humanish but with a massive veiny cranium. Its face is distorted from the stretch, stretched skull, eyes fixated open and downward in an expression resembling horror. The head stirs and its mouth opens halfway, emitting a low moan that rises in both pitch and volume. Before you can you can get to your feet, the wool blanket begins to move it in fits. It's trying to get out. Hmm. Uh, okay, so. Hmm. 
Hmm. So we need to escape. All around you come. Okay, let's use mechanic. All around you come. All around you come the sounds of shuffling and items falling off tables, barely audible over a rising chorus of moans and shrill screams. It appears this is some sort of re of nest of waking, cranky melon heads, and you're in the middle of it. And unfortunately, some of the melon heads have already closed in on you, blocking the doorway through which you came. Let's use mechanic skill. Buildings like this with only one maintenance entrance usually have some sort of venting air way, a way of venting air. And it'd be up. You jump onto a booth and start scrambling up scaffolding to the rafters. The melon heads swarm the area below you but aren't making any moves to climb yet, so you've got a minute. Uh, you don't spot any ducting to a, a gables up here, to the gables up here, gables, gables, gables. But it looks like a chain and pulley further in might be the ticket. Carefully climbing across the rafters, you reach to the chain and pull down on it. The force tilts a roof panel open and you're able to squeeze out onto the rooftop. Cold, fresh air never feels, never felt so comfort, comforting. Let's jump down. You're not out of this yet, though. Still have, a still have to find a way down. It'll take the melon heads a minute or so to figure out where you went, so options are limited. Hmm, we're gonna get hurt, aren't, you? aren't we? Not much time for anything fancy. Just shimmy as close to the edge as you can and drop. You climb to the edge, lower your feet over and give a little push. Yes. BAM! Despite trying to cushion your fall, it feels like every part of you hits the ground in rapid succession. Sharp pain shoots through your body, your nose tingles, and you lose focus momentarily until your head until you hear the melon heads round the corner of the exhibitor's hall. Biting back the pain, you gather your stuff and have hobble away out of the fairgrounds. Yes, so this is the fairgrounds, which I'm not gonna re-enter. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and uh, let's look at our... Yeah, we didn't. We got a few minor bruises. Not not much of a problem. So right arm, upper chest, basically bruised, battered, and pelted. Not okay. So we got a bit. We got to know what was in there, because last time out, I I panicked and I ran away. Uh, yeah, it's melon heads. So figures. They smell bad from their mouths and sweat. Okay. Hmm. So we are burned. Mm hmm okay there's a melon head so they are looking for us oh hopefully they are not gonna find us because they seem their description was kind of unnerving I would say that description of the head I'm not I'm gonna leave this behind because I don't think this is really should I leave this be this behind hmm I'm gonna do this I'm gonna okay so I can carry this in here hmm yeah I'm not gonna drop that I'm gonna light a fire I'm gonna uh, yeah I'm gonna drop those sticks and I'm gonna light a fire because I need to boil water because we're thirsty okay so throw that away and bring in all the water that you have right now and it's not gonna be much boiled water right now because we don't have many turns left, many moves left in this turn, I should say. But next turn, mm -hmm, there you go, more water. Oh, excuse me, a couple of water right there. A couple of water? That's not how you say it. Oh well. Um, yeah, there it is. So boil it. Yes, there you go. So, let's put these bottles all the right way up. And the water is all nice and sterilized. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Misclick. Not something that uh, went wrong anyway. Oh, yeah. Drink the rest. And... Uh, okay, I need... I need to... Um, <clears throat> so basically I want to carry this because this is our only melee weapon and it's not in pretty it's not in good shape I know but yeah there it is 
should be yes there it goes see uh, and now my my intention my intention right now is to scavenge a bit more and go back to the cryo facility and in the cryo facility we'll store our equipment and hopefully that's a safe place to do it i got a, another crowbar right there ours in is in pretty good shape so i'm not gonna uh, zoom zooms and uh, that's the cryo facility so yeah the ATN is over there, and we don't want to go over there to the isotope mine that we found with uh, our previous... Okay, the melon heads are around these parts. I'm gonna scavenge. There it is. Yeah, he's going back. Whence he came. It's good. So, more loot and some pieces of newspaper. That's good, because I want to tear that newspaper apart for our fletching purposes and good this, these are lock picking locations not every location can be lock picked and when they can that's good news that is good news so what's not good news is that our lighters are getting a bit on the used side of things hmm. let's see if we can yeah we can see plenty of room still to carry stuff junk generally and i'm gonna drop the clown head as soon as we okay some food yeah might as well eat it it's cold cold soup but whatever um yeah scavenge a bit more and we really need to find more lighters another metal saucepan mm -hmm. let's go over here actually let's not go over there because it's Night is falling and we can't see well in there. I thought it was just a myope characters that couldn't see well uh, in the night, but apparently I think might be a common trait among uh, among Philip Kindreds, <laughs> among neo scavengers, if you if you like. And I'm not gonna risk having a bunch of turns wasted. Uh huh. So. It's uh, the map. I'm gonna tear the map apart as well because it's a possibility. There it goes. There you go. So our arrows are cured. Broadhead arrows. Really? It, it's it's an interesting thing to imagine actually. The um, okay. I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna go here. Uh, the way the arrows are shaped. Can you imagine like an arrow with a bit of newspaper on the fletching? Or a map. Oh, that's very nice. That is very nice. So that's gonna take care of our encumbered state, hopefully. Let's equip all of this very neatly in in the same order that I have uh, that I have it equipped over here. And good. So our yeah, there you go. Because this carries a lot more stuff. It really does. And look at that. Look at that. We're no longer burned. Uh, and we got a boot. Couple of right shoe, right feet, right foot boots, and not something that I wanna I wanna use right now. You can equip um, the right foot on the left foot, for example. See, but you get improper footwear, and I think that's not good because you get blisters, and that's not that's not nice. Blisters is one of the worst things you can have in your foot, in your feet, and uh, if you never had one. Be thankful, but you are probably gonna have one some sometime, someday. Okay, I'm looking for the map. Where's the map? Where is the map? I can't see the map. Come on, the map. There it is. There it is. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so it's one of the worst things that you can feel walking around with blisters in your feet. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And right now, I have one, actually. Because it's, it's, it's the reason I'm speaking of it. I have one in my right foot. I don't know why. I went yesterday. I went. Um, I, I, it wasn't a, a, a hiking trip, but we hiked pretty pretty much. I went and watched uh, the WRC round over here in Portugal live at um, Marão, and uh, it was pretty cool. I got to see Kubica, uh drifting around the band. There they go. I I'm, I enjoy cars. It's one of the things I I really like and uh, yeah it was pretty cool it was, was the first time that I saw WRC cars uh, 
too, so yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's... So, our bandages, this one is in pretty bad shape, so I'm not gonna bring it. And, yeah. Okay, so we got a sneaker. A sneaker? Is that a sneaker or a sneakers? I don't know. I feel that a sneakers is a chocolate bar, but a sneaker is the a single shoe. I don't know. This is a truck spacewalk running shoe. So it's a running shoe, not a sneaker. I think sneaker might be American. American English. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I, I might go there in terms of food. That could be a good proposition, but I don't feel that that um, deer is going to stay there for very long. It's going to run away, isn't it? It's probably going to run away. Yeah. It's not here. I'm going to camp right here, so the only tracks should be from the deer. This one provides a little bit of shelter, so we might as well take it. We got our noise traps in there okay we have troubling falling asleep oh no this might be the yeah this might be the deer oh it's a melon head oh it's right on top of us hmm let's attack it but did we miss we missed come on oh he's kicking us okay so i'm gonna try and get up did we miss we hit good okay so he's he's punching us okay we are in we are being hit and he's being hit as well, so he's recovering. I'm gonna equip my... I can't equip my stuff. Come on, we fell. Will it fall invulnerable? Okay, fallen again? He's kicking us down! Come on, don't! Don't you dare! Don't you freaking dare! Let's crawl away, crawl away. It's behind cover, I'm gonna pull him down and get up and run. Seriously, ditch the vehicle and run. Okay, we fell. I think. Run, come on. Okay, he's running at us. We don't have any more arrows, so we're gonna need to equip our melee weapon because, yeah, I don't feel that arrows are the appropriate weapon. Uh, so, threaten. Oh, I know what might be threatening to them. Is the crown head. So he's coughing blood, and we're in pretty bad shape as well. So he's running away. I'm not gonna let him run away, because he has our arrows. I'm gonna surge him. So he's unconscious, good. So... Oh, come on. Scare me like that. We're, we're still not... We're still not uh, in... in um, uh, still not safe. And he wasted a bunch of arrows trying to kill that guy. We're still not safe because all of this... We got a patchwork hide tunic. Good. And uh, because the reason that we're not safe is that... Okay, so no cuts. He just punched us. So we're just uh, in pain. Hmm. And we made a bunch of noise probably. I'm not gonna sleep right here. I'm gonna try and put some distance between this location and um, I'm gonna scavenge. Sneak is still pretty good. But yeah, we alerted nearby creatures. Let's eat. Uh huh, let's eat. And yeah. Let's go away. So we got a deer, probably, hopefully. Oh, a feral dog? No, no, no. He's vulnerable and frail, so I'm gonna blast away as an is unconscious. Good. So that went well. Hopefully we didn't lose any any arrows, but we probably did. We probably did. No, we didn't. We 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 oh we found more arrows. So this dog. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh, I should I should. Ah, it's a... I should dismantle the dog and I should eat it. But the problem is, it's getting late. It's... I mean, it's getting late for our sleep time. And I'm either... I'm gonna carry it with me. And I'm gonna dismantle it in the morning. Because that's... I feel that's a better way of dealing with our current situation. And I'm gonna try and sleep. And I'm gonna equip my bow and arrow because might as well. And good, good, we're sleeping. Okay, so let's sleep a little bit more. And uh, the problem is the dog is falling apart pretty quickly. But we only need a big chunk of meat to, to sleep. 
Okay, so yeah, let's let's go for it now. Let's go for it now. Let's not waste waste any more time. And we're only in minor pain. That's good. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Neil Scavenger. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.